minutes away from welcoming our first athletes. First finishers of the Ironman 70.3 Rwanda. Um, I'm a Berber Kramer. Um, I currently live in Nairobi, but I'm from the Netherlands. So there's a little Dutch flag next to my name. Um, but yeah, I'm also a little Kenyan. It was really nice. The, um, the course is just gorgeous. Um, the roads here are so nice. <laughs> um, very smooth tarmac. Um, the course was challenging. Like, it was uh, very technical. Um, a lot of descending, ascending, and you had to be careful on the descents. Um, it was easy to get speed going down, but yeah, you know, it was very curvy. Uh, but it was gorgeous, and there were a lot of really amazing people and support on the side of the road. Um, the aid stations, I think, were very well organized, given that this is the first time that they're organizing this race. It was very well organized, so I was really happily, uh, yeah, I was really happy about that. Um, and the run course was really nice too. Um, I thought the weather was really nice. Um, yeah, the, the support was great. Um, I had a good race, yeah. I'm from Kenya. Uh, my name is Aaron Massini. Yeah. Because I finished. It's my first Iron Man. And I was happy it came close by. Yeah. It was, it was hard. <laughs> oh, okay, fine, yeah. Okay, so the competition Ironman 7.3, standard endurance tri uh, triathlon, start by a swim, about 1.9 kilometers for the 7.3, and then into a 90 kilometer ride, and then finally into a half marathon, which is about 21 kilometer run. Yeah, I do, I do triathlons, the ones which I usually do are Olympic distance, then this is the first time I wanted to do a long endurance triathlon, yeah. Oh my goodness, the challenges. Ha, ah, where do we start? Okay, fine. The swim went very well. I enjoyed the swim. But the bike ride was just... Uh, I broke my chain twice uh, because of the hills. Oh my goodness, Rwanda has hills. <laughs> yeah, but then thank goodness uh, they fixed it up for me. And then I finished. And then the run again, the hills. <laughs> the hills. Yeah, but we're done. And I had so much fun. So much fun. The roads are smooth. Yeah. It was really smooth. Oh my goodness, train on the hills. <laughs> I think if, if, if when you look at the, all the, tra the, the, and the Ironman, Ironman challenges, I think Rwanda ranks high up there in, in terms of difficulty. But then in terms of enjoyment, it's fantastic because the reward after completing and crossing that finish line is something else. That's why I'm so excited. Yeah. Ah, fantastic. Yeah, the people are friendly. Uh, very, very friendly. The climate was fantastic because us were having a problem with cold weather. And then this weather was, was just amazing for training, for even riding. The altitude was a bit of a problem because it was a bit lower. But here it's, it's one, two days of acclimatization. It was fantastic. The air is clean. Very clean. And if you want to train, I kid you not, you'll have so much fun here. The hills, I can't, I can't wait to come back. Because when I was driving from, when you're driving from Kigali, to here, there was a hill that was never ending, and I can't wait to ride that hill. Yeah. So I tell guys to come, come here, come. Kigali, Rwanda is fantastic. Oh, yeah. If, if you do triathlons and especially Ironman, Ironman challenges, one thing it will teach you is, is, is discipline. Because you can't just wake up one day and decide to do it. The amount of discipline training that goes into it and the investment, it will teach you a lot. You'll have to sacrifice quite a lot and learn how to balance your time. 
the information I can give to people, the fans, is support people who do these events. Even sponsorship, if you can throw in something, because it's very expensive. It ends up being very expensive. But then if it's collective, it'll, it'll, it'll make it much, much better for everybody. Yeah. Thank you so much. Eh? Hey, thanks so much. Eh? My name is Francesco Bertoli. I come uh, from Italy. 62. It's fantastic. The people is fantastic. And also the race uh, is fantastic because it's very heavy. There is a lot of mountains. And the half marathon is very hard because you have to wake up. It's a hard race. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I'm older. Uh, if you want to be older like me, you have to run, swim, and bicycles. So the best thing is to make sports. And you have a beautiful country, so you can do everything, swim, run, and bicycle. So I think uh, the secret of the life is feel well, feel good, feel sport. I've been in, I've been in the track, Gorilla Trek. I suggest to many people to, to visit the, the Gorilla. And uh, the lake is fantastic. The people is fantastic. So I'm very happy to be here in Rwanda. When you do something, finish when you arrive to the, to the finish line. You can be the best for the first time of your life, but you can change. So you're the best when you finish your life, when you finish your school, when you finish. It's, it's, it's not important to be the first in, a, in the first part of your life, but life is like a triathlon. You have to swim, you have to bike, and you have to run. When you finish all, that's, uh, that is the message of triathlon and the message for life for triathlon. Uh, I thought the easy was the swimmer, but uh, we come from Europe, so we live uh, live over sea. Here is very high, so it's difficult to take oxygen. Uh, but uh, the stronger maybe is the marathon, the half marathon. Yes, it's fantastic. It's uh, fabulous people. Uh, fantastic, fantastic, meraviglioso. We say in Italia, like the Italian people. They smile like the Italian people. My swimming was my weakness and my bike was my strength. Um, so I, yeah, I just passed a lot of people on the bike because I had a poor swim to make up for. Um, but that's usually how my races go. Um, I am uh, better, I'm just better on the bike. Um, and then, yeah, my run is okay, like average. Um, so I think I did okay on the, on the run. I haven't actually compared my numbers with other people yet. Um, we're just celebrating right now, <laughs> yeah. Uh, my name's Christy. I'm from America. My name's Hillary. I'm also from the U.S., but I live in Rwanda. Okay, my name is Megan. I'm also from America. I'm happy that I finished the race, and it was really, really beautiful. Rwanda is very beautiful to be in. I, can, uh, I think the most challenging part was the swim. Um, yeah, just because it's a lake and it's somehow scary. Um, but yeah, it was also, the bike course was really beautiful. The sun came out and it was just fun to be with my two friends doing this. Great question. Um, I think a lot of discipline. Uh, so what you see here today is, uh, is the product of months and months of training, often five to six days a week, often at the sacrifice of other family and friend and work commitments. Oh, the lesson is that in Rwanda, I just made really brave friends. They're so tough and strong, and I'm so happy to know oh. them, and they did such a good job. Oh, love you. Very happy. <laughs> yeah, thank you for hosting this new race here. It's exciting to have new things in Rwanda and new things, new reasons for people to come and see Rwanda. Yeah, um, I just want to say thank you to... Um, the uh, everyone, the police, RDF that kept us safe and kept the course safe today, um, RDB for partnering with Iron Man to put this on. Um, it's a truly incredible event and a beautiful place. And yeah, we're just lucky to be here and and do it. So thank you. Yeah, it, like Christy said, I just think it's amazing to have a reason to bring new tourists to Rwanda who have not had the opportunity to be here before. It's great to give them some motivation. Diego and Dishimi. Oh, what am I happy about? Um, Dishimi Eko. Dufite uh, Mbaraga, na Dushobra Gutwara Igare, na Kolga, na Quiruka, Quiruka, Yego. Yeah, Nibjiza Chane, Nishimie, Twishimie. Nishimie Kuko, Abakobgwa, Parashoboye. 
Like the girls can, uh, it means girls, girls can do anything. They can ride a bike, they can swim, they are very strong, they should participate in any sport that they want to. Just because you see a lot of men doing something doesn't mean that you can't do it as a girl or woman. So I would just encourage all girls to try things that they're interested in, whether that's tennis or swimming or biking, any sport, um, because yeah, girls should have the equal opportunity to participate, so. Oh, it was a really good community of people. So uh, on the race, everyone was supporting each other, cheering each other on. Regardless of where in the world people from what, from, are from, we were all in it together. Uh, it's part of the uh, Team Mendazi spirit that we have. It's our cycling team. Yes. It was phenomenal. I mean, the support from the Rwandan community in Giseni has been fantastic. And all our friends and the fellow runners were clapping and supporting. I don't know that we have anything in our minds at that point except relief that we finished, but everyone was so supportive. It was fantastic. I thought it was fantastic. We've lived here a long time, but I will tell you that we had lots of kids running next to us and supporting us on the bike. And uh, even the mamas saying, congratulations, morajo, espiri. So we were feeling really, really supported by the Giseni uh, community for sure. And then one more thing I want to say to everyone, you should all visit Rwanda because yes. Rwanda is amazing and such a great host. Absolutely, and I can't wait they to did a too. Job. I think there's a few things. So n number one is that you, f you should put your mind towards something and then keep, keep going no matter what. Just keep going at it, try hard. Just, and, and while you're doing that, build a community around it because you, you can't do it all yourself. Like the only reason any of us are here doing this Iron Man is because we signed up together and we kept at it and we pushed each other along. And that's useful in anything that you do in real life. One more thing is that whenever there's an uphill, there's a downhill. Yes. So yes. Always, always, that should always be your motivation. Yes. I think it really requires um, adaptability. Race day is never gonna go the way you expect. You always meet some hiccups around the way and sometimes even like bad adversity. But what's beautiful about triathlon is you find a solution and you carry on. And it's not just about the time that you set, but also about finishing and getting that medal and making it within the cutoff times. And so yeah, if you face adversity on the course, you carry on, you make the best out of it. And so I think that, in a way, adaptability or resilience is what triathlon teaches us. I was in the first place, because I was in the first place, and I was in the first place, I was in the first place, and I was in the first place, yeah, Federacio, we have to make a mesa, the shark will show us the Gamagare, the Chindichin, the Yukomea, the Nimienda, now go to Finna to Chinano. In Hamienda to take a Bissava, Basanava to Vesimienda, what do I mean? Nagaria Bachinia, Buyumuchin, Yenda Bakos and Nago, I mean the Miz. Chanacha and Ray, Giovanna Yamahanga, no much in our Kora Humuga, Arako Nath Kunutu Kora, Nago in Hagarichi Yamuga, Mumungu won't show Rakuya, Murugo a home, Mavi Kansakonja Shaku with the Mahandi Han Kruhan and Yemunitos. Ubuzima busanzwe nyene cha ku buzima handi nka nitoza rimwe na rimwe ntabwo mbikora byo kinyamuga mbese icyo baturusha bo barategura kandi baturusha experience urebye muri imikino